blank screen. As far as you look, there's darkness, an empty void. But it doesn't have to stay like that. Today, I'm laying my hands on something dangerous. Something that has always been lurking in the shadows. A virus. Is it hostile? The only thing that can guide me through this never-ending darkness is an even more wild creature. Assembly. A language that communicates directly to the brain of a computer. Today, I want to learn all about viruses and try to make my own. Not for destruction, but for education. But why this path? Why a virus? You remember the time when viruses were the dark side of the virtual world? It almost feels like we were always being hunted by the viruses. Any sudden mistake and your PC is doomed. But I was always curious about the nature of them. I mean, how can they be so dangerous? What if we could control them? That's what I'm about to find out today. This is just a practice, a mental challenge, but a somewhat dangerous one. Here's the challenge. I know nothing about assembly. I mean, come on. The hardest programming language for a simple hello world can be a disaster of codes. How am I supposed to learn that? I searched every everywhere. I surfed the whole internet. It was like swimming in an ocean of information. I found articles, sources, documentaries. Hell, I even watched hours of YouTube videos. But wait, does all this effort even work? Can I even write anything now? Well, as they say, you never know if you don't try. This is the first code, the first step towards the unknown. This is not like anything I wrote before. It can't even be compared to modern codes. This language is not a word of already written functions or simple get arounds. The only thing you get is pure orders and I have to learn them. Alright, enough being dramatic. You liked that shit, didn't you? I made it as dramatic as possible. So for the test, I'm gonna go with a simple hello world and see what we get. And as expected, an error, a compiler error. Let me see what I can do. All right, it should be good to go now. Let's see. Hell yeah, finally. I can see it. I can see that I'm on the right path. But if that makes you think that this is gonna continue like a butter on a pan, you're making a huge mistake. Because from now on, I'm just gonna dive deeper into the shit I got myself. And there's no coming back. Now, let's go for the actual virus. Honestly, I'm scared. I mean, in assembly, because the coding system is so close to hardware, you might harm them if you don't know what you're doing. I feel like there's something scary waiting for me at the end. But don't worry, I'm a pro, I guess. But before all that, why did you check if you're subscribed or not? Go hit that button. There are years of fortune for you if you do so. Trust me, a genie told me once. Alright, the idea for the virus is that when you open a terminal and you try to write a code with it, it kind of glitches out, plays some sound and closes the terminal. Something really simple or not. I don't know, you should watch till the last second. There might be a surprise. So for the start, I'm gonna make some kind of a glitch effect with text only. Oh my god. God, I'm gonna be drowning in errors. All right, give me a minute. While I'm fixing some errors here, you should use your time and take a look to our Discord channel and join while you're there. I'll give you a cookie. Okay, it should work now. Yay! Let's make it green. Yay! All right, all right, I'll, I'll stop. Sorry. So now for the sound. This code here essentially plays whatever audio I want. So it's not actually a system sound, but a separate audio file. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fuck you too. Let me fix that. Oh, you motherfucker. All right, it's it's gotta work now. I swear to God. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, it works. All right, stop, stop. Jesus. Now that we have both of them, let's combine them. Oh my God, shut up. Perfect. It's annoying, which means it works. Now, the virus is almost done. I just gotta add some final touches and run it. I think it's better if I do the final test in command prompt. It's big, and I like big. Wait, what the f- Alright, compile and run. God damn it, what's wrong again? Wait, what the hell? What, what is this? This is not me.
No, what the fuck is this? No, no, 